Hey guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how I begin my sinking funds. Alright, so I've had sinking funds in the past. I've done this system in the past and it's been a while, just like the cash envelopes. I did it for a while and I got away from it. But last week, was it last week? Yeah, two paychecks ago now. Last week is two paychecks ago. Um, we had some extra money in our check. So I'm going to flip to that and show you guys. And at the time when I went over the budget, I said, hey guys, I am going to do sinking funds with this. So we had an extra $509 remaining. We also had an extra $50 left over from our cash envelopes from the previous week. So that brings us to a grand total of $559. And I thought to myself, do I want to put that on our credit card debt? Because that'd be a nice chunk off our credit card debt, no doubt. But I also thought, I'm always kind of nickel and diming myself. And, you know, even borrowing from our savings lately and things like that. And so I thought, let's just start the sinking funds again and let's see how it works. So that's what I did. I started a little chart and let me get to it. Hold on one second. I started a little chart for our funds and gosh, where is it? Oh, this notebook has so much stuff in it. I cannot believe that we are so far into the year. I know I keep saying that, but it's just crazy. And let's see. Okay, here's my debt. This is my debt progress. This is my overall debt progress. Wait, which one is which? This is my regular, this is my current debt progress, right? And then after that, is this one page? What the heck? Where are we? After that, I made this one. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't even zoom out far enough. But this was our home renovation and miscellaneous credit card debt payoff, um, which was a whopping $36,400. And we are down to owing, how much do we owe? I think I owe something like 18,000 now, or just under 18,000. But anyway, that's a separate video. That's another story. Um, but I have the sinking funds in here somewhere. Let's see, here we go. All right, so many trackers so many charts <laughs> but this is an important one because i have been meaning to do this for a little while now and i finally had the money to go ahead and start it so i don't have envelopes created for our sinking funds right now and i do have the cash so as you can see i have a kind of crisscrossed and divvied up but i um just wanted to mention i don't have envelopes yet but i do have this excess um, scrap paper that I use to make my envelopes. And so I thought, what can I do with this? I kept all these little pieces aside and I thought I'm going to make myself little belly bands for the cash right now. And I'm going to organize it that way. And then I'm going to put all the belly bands with the cash in this little pouch, which is from Hobby Lobby. I paid $3 for this, guys. This was $5.99 regular by Paper Studio. I got it for half off, so it was literally $3. And it's the nicest zippered pouch, as you can see, and I haven't used this one yet for anything. So this is where my sinking funds are going to go. So until I get a better system. So this is kind of like a cash clip system or, um, you know, something like that where you clip the money together instead of putting it in envelopes. So basically what I'm going to do is let's take this $5 for instance. I am going to fold this, right, about the height of a cash bill. And then I'm going to fold it again right on itself. And then I'm just gonna run a piece of tape right here. And that is going to hold the money. So super simple. Um, this is a belly band system. And you guys probably know what that means if you guys are crafters and you do paper crafting, you know that that is any type of um, piece of paper that you create as a wrap for something else. So that's what I'm going to do. Now up here is where I'm going to list the category. And in here, I can kind of list a running total. So really a nice system, really easy, all encompassing, and I'm just going to secure it with a piece of tape. 
So I'm going to put that back where that money goes. But anyway, so for Christmas, I also wanted to mention, I'm going to go over this again too. I do have a Christmas savings challenge. And if you start now with me and you do the exact amounts with me, by the time Black Friday rolls around and it's time for shopping for Christmas gifts, you will have $500. So it's a really simple, very doable method. And if you're interested in that, you can check out my video or my future video where I'm going to be talking about getting started on that. I do have a free printable. It is listed. Um, it's able to be downloaded from my blog and um, it has the whole schematic for you. So anyway, I will get into that in a separate video. So for Christmas, I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so for Christmas, I need to save in the month of June $75. So I'm just gonna write June here. So I need to take 50, 60, 70, five, put that in here. So I'm going to put, this is my Christmas fund, Christmas savings fund. And so for June, I'm gonna write $75. And I'm going to put this $75 right in here. So got my full amount here. I'm gonna tuck that over, okay? And then I have some colored tape. Just gonna put that right here. Now this is um, some scotch tape, but it's removable. So if I need to take this off, it's not going to tear the paper or anything like that. So here is my sinking fund for Christmas. Let's move on to this next category, birthdays. And I'm gonna do $50. Now you guys are probably wondering, why do you have so many blocks here? This is just when I add money to it as I go along in the coming months. And I want to have, um, you know, what I added to it and then down here, like maybe a running total or if I subtracted from it. So birthdays is going to be $50. Now I have $50 in this, um, in this amount or this allotment uh, because this was left over from my cash envelopes. Not, yeah not this week, but the week prior. So I held on to this and this is what kind of inspired me. I wanted to add that to my excess um, paycheck. So I decided that I would put this aside, hold it until I started the sinking fund. So I'm gonna zoom out just a bit. Um, so I'm gonna fold this again, just so. Right to right about there. This is such an easy thing to do, guys. And it requires no purchases whatsoever. Everybody has scrap paper. You don't even have to use scrapbook paper. You can just use um, regular paper. So I'm gonna put just birthdays. And there's $50 here. So it's a nice start. It's a nice gift card for somebody. Should we run into the need? Gonna fold that over itself. So this is pretty secure. And I'm gonna secure it one more time with some color tape. Perfect. So as you can see, like even if I hold it by this, this isn't going anywhere because it's nice and tight. So I'm gonna put that aside. So the next category is our dogs slash dog health. And I'm gonna start this category off with $50 also. So for that, I just grabbed a $50 bill from the bank. And let me get a piece of paper. All right, same system. Now, if you guys don't do cash envelopes and you don't have cash envelopes, first of all, I do make them so if you are ever wanting to buy some. I do sell them and I think my 
price for them is pretty inexpensive because my cash envelopes are so basic. In fact, this is, hold on, this is my miscellaneous one for myself. So, and that's from the wrong, wrong collection. I just used some scrap from that. Um, but if you don't have cash envelopes or you don't want to purchase any, um, you can use this belly band system for your cash too. And this takes up zero space in your wallet. Literally, it takes up as much space practically as your cash would. Um, so this is dogs, like dog health, veterinary visits, things like that. So you can do this in place of cash envelopes. Um, you know, if you do the cash envelope system, there's nothing saying that you have to use actual envelopes. Um, you can use whatever works for you and whatever's on hand. I could have folded this one a little bit tighter, so that's bothering me, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep these all kind of wrangled together anyway, so it's not a big deal. So for health, regular health, because you guys know that I've run into some co-pays and I've been sick and all that fun stuff, I'm going to do $100. So I have something for those just in case moments. So I'm going to, in fact, that's the problem. I'm holding this a little bit too high. So I'll put that there. You know what, I did it again and I'm gonna fix this one. You have to fold it a little bit lower than the height of your bill. So I'm gonna fold it just like that. Okay. That's better. I just don't want it to be quite so loose, even though I am gonna be keeping these all together. It's not a huge deal. Um, so for health, and this could even be for over-the-counter medication, doctor's co-pays, um, deductibles, things like that, anything that arises, prescriptions. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on that. So we've got our health down. So home renovation, this is a big one because we've had a lot of stuff going on lately. Um, I'm gonna add $100 to this. And that's kind of a lot in my opinion, but from the things that we have encountered lately, I feel like we need this. So just in case, so I'm gonna write home renovation. Home, in fact, it's more repair, not renovation. I'm actually using the wrong terminology here. So home repair. I did write it correctly in the book. All right, so we have $100 in that. And I actually ended up having um, an extra over $500 in two paychecks ago. So this was the perfect time for me to start this sinking fund system. All right, and our last envelope is from Miscellaneous. And this one will get $184. So that's what I have left. I started out with 559. And after all these envelopes are full, 184 is what I have left. So I have 100, 150, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that is a really nice chunk, in my opinion, for a miscellaneous envelope. And I'm happy to have it because you just never know. So I'm gonna fold up, put that like that, and fold down. Okay. All right, so we've got our miscellaneous. So here are our envelopes. Let me write 184 here. And I don't have a tally or a total right now on this schematic, but I do want to total it up just so everything meshes. So we have, let's go in just a little bit, 75 plus 50 
plus 50, plus 100, plus 100, plus 184. 559 dollars which is exactly what we started out with so again i always say it i love when the numbers crunch makes me so happy so here's our pouch and here are our belly banded cash sinking funds so i'm really excited i'm ex <clears throat> i'm excited because i finally have this finished after saying I was going to do this for an entire week. So I do apologize for the lateness. I've just had a lot going on over the past week, but I am catching up now and getting all my videos caught up as far as budgets going. And I will also be catching up on my planning and showing you my school planner that I came up with. I just created some schematics in a notebook. And um, if some of you are interested in that, just stay tuned for that. But this is my sinking funds. I'm super excited and I thank you for watching with me and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and as always I hope I see you in the next video take care <laughs>